another episode of Like, like it, it Is. I'm Kiari Moon. And I'm Darian Lewis. And today, we're going to take you all on a journey with cube steak over homemade onion gravy. All right, let's get to it. Let's go. All righty, cool. So first, what we're going to do here, we have our oil heated up in our skillet. So we want to get that to a good temperature. Most people say about 350 or whatnot. But how you can test to see if your oil is ready, you can get a dab of your flour and just pinch it off in there. Start sizzling, you're ready to go. You don't want to get it too hot where it's like smoking. All right, and then over here, our actual product, we have some cube steak, which I've already seasoned earlier today, which we're gonna shake up here in our flour mixture, and then we're gonna uh, put it over in our oil. Let's get to it. Chop up this onion for our onion gravy and push it to the side, all right? So there's all kinds of different ways that people cut up right now. Whichever way is best for you, please do so. If you're not real good with knife, I highly advise you to cut more. I'm not good with knife, so I have to use a... <laughs> Cut board, and as y'all can see, nice. <laughs> onions will definitely make you cry. I do have a technique that I use for for that to keep your eyes from watering. Why do onions make you cry? I don't know. Maybe she looked that up, but I'm crying, y'all see. Look at that! Wow, you're crying. You need some tissue. That's a good cry. I'm crying because of how good it's going to be. Right. Comment down in the comment section below. Um your answer of why you think onions make you cry without googling <laughs> what's that underwater what would you the uh the fumes <laughs> the fumes the onion fumes Okay. All right. So um, I have a burning question. All right. You know, I always come with my questions. Okay. So for those beginners, because me, I am truly a beginner, like real talk, a serious beginner. How long do you have to cook the cube, say, for like on, do you have to flip it on each side? Do you have yeah. to just like, explain gotcha, that process. Gotcha. Okay. Process. Cool. So um, if you're not an actual cook and you don't really know what you're doing or if you're new to what I should say, um, I don't really time but I have a great theory that I use so with cube steak um, you want to cook it more done than less done the reason I say that is because it's kind of tough it's a tough kind of meat if you don't cook it to a, a good well done consistency I guess I could say but um, on each side you want to get more done like a I want to say more more of a darker brown on each side uh, there's, like I say, not really a time-based thing that I do, but yeah, you want to get like kind of like dark on both sides because it's not going to be like just a fried piece of meat that you eat. It's going to be smothered in gravy, so you won't tell like if it's too done for you. Okay. Well, I hope that answers you guys' question. Oh, what do you prefer? Uh, forks or the little tongue things to flip the meat? Fork. Fork. All right. Real cooks use forks. All right. Real real cooks use forks. There you go. There you have it. I mean, you heard it here first. I guess tongs are like. <laughs> people are scared of the grease. I got to use tongs. Where, where my tongs at? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? I remember the first time I fried chicken. I used. <laughs> uh -uh. I have. I was like this, and I will use tongs, but I was like this. Uh uh. Remember the first time I tried to cook chicken? I do. I do. It was crazy. But anyway. Sure. These are for me. I hope y'all got that. Um, it was kind of hard. That was a hard question, I guess, for me. Because if you're a cook, you know, you know. But then when somebody asks you explain it, it's kind of like, hmm, how long do I keep it on that? But like, if you cook it and you like see, it's kind of like uh, 
something that you don't think about. Yeah. It's second nature to you. Right. So, right. I hope y'all. Second nature, like, I don't know, a hundredth nature. Yes. But anyway, we'll be back. Alright everybody, we're back. We have taken our steaks out of the oil. These how they this is how they look when they are completely they done. Look good. Right? So now we're gonna make a gravy for them. So what I've done is I've drained all of my well not all, like 99% of the oil out of this pan. And I left just a little bit, over. if you can see, just a little bit in there. And I left my pretty much my steak bits or flour that's dropped off in the bottom. That's pretty much like the root of your homemade onion gravy. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss my onions in and get those to fry. Okay, now so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pretty much make a roux for my onion gravy. And what is a roux? A, a roux, maybe I should have explained that. So a roux kinda is like, it's a New Orleans thing they call it. It's kinda like when you um, cook flour and and uh, oil down to like a dark brown color. Okay, That's okay. That's kind of like what a roux is. Okay. Yeah. That makes so sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook my onions down a little bit until they're translucent, and then I'll add my flour in, which is pretty much like a base to make a roux, flour and oil. What's translucent? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all remember my flour that I had left over, right? So this is where it comes into play. So this is gonna give you that thickness for your onion gravy once you add your liquid in, which is gonna be water, right? So this is homemade gravy, I'm telling y'all, with flour. You're not using that box or that little bag of brown gravy. It's gonna be brown, but I'm showing you how to get it to that stage. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna add a little bit in at a time. I, I like to use my hand a lot, so on top of that oil and those onions, you're gonna like drop this flour in until it gets a little thick. So I'm probably gonna end up using all of this. And also, this flour that I'm putting in here is already like seasoned. seasoned. I use salt and pepper. You can use whatever seasons you like to season your meat or whatever. Let me uh, rinse my hands off real quick. So whatever seasonings you like to season your food with, you can use that because you're definitely gonna need some, some, uh, some kind of flavor for your gravy. If you do this with no no seasoning, you're gonna have like, your food's gonna taste like water pretty much. So now what my aunt, my great aunt, my grandma's sister taught me is, you wanna put your steaks in on top of your onions your and your uh, oil, right? And the reason we're doing this, so when we add our water, we can add it just above the steaks. That way you won't have too less or too little water if you add the water first. I mean, if you're like pretty much a professional, you can do it, but I like to do it like I'm ready, right? So from there, I'm gonna just start adding water. And what I wanna tell you guys, I know a lot of people are like, well, how do I know if it's enough flour? How do I know if it's, I did add, a little more flour to it after we stop filming, right? Okay, so my secret to that is once I get this to a boil, so right now it's, it doesn't look like gravy, right? But once it starts boiling, it'll start thickening up because of the flour. But if it's, if it's not thick enough, only thing you have to do is add a little more flour. You don't want to add too, too much too flour much because flour, right? it'll take away from your brownness of the gravy. And the flavor, right? Maybe? That as well. Okay. So... And then if if you if it gets to boiling, and it's too thick for you, you just add water. So one or the other, will pretty much like knock the other one off balance. So okay. if it's not thick enough, add a little flour, add it in slowly until it starts getting thick to your consistency that you like. And then if it's too thick, add a little water. But what I do is once it starts to boil, because I want the meat this meat to get tender, right? I'll turn it down to a lower temperature and I cover it up so it can simmer. Hmm. And that'll be it. We'll be back to show y'all the thickness here shortly. All right, everybody. On the line here, I have my mother, Angie, Miss Angie, Mama. Um. Okay, Mom. So say it to the people first. Hold on. Hey, everybody. Okay. Okay. All right. So the question is, <laughs> you just do it. The question is, um, do you prefer tongs or do you prefer a fork when frying foods? I prefer a tongs. 
Okay, say bye to the people. Bye to the, say bye to the people. Are we ready? Okay, bye. Bye, stop ready? Guys. bye. Hello. What's hey, Auntie. Doing? What you doing? Nothing. I'm just getting to eat my food. So, what do you prefer? Do you prefer a tongue or do you prefer a fork? Let's go Okay, the tongues. Okay, so we have. Love you too, Auntie. Come on. On the phone, I have my mom, Darion's mom here, on the phone, um, Miss Hearing. So, are you there, mom? I'm here. All right, say hey to the people real quick. Hey, guys. All right, all right, all right. So, the question is, and this is kind of like an ongoing thing right now, a trend right now. Okay, so, do you prefer a fork or do you prefer tongs when frying food? A fork. A uh, fork, so there you have it, guys. Look at that. That's the country. That's, That's the country, country y'all. That's the country coming out, y'all. Well, thank you so much, Mom, for uh, tuning into this Like It Is uh, series. This is something new that we're doing, too. We've, we've never called anybody and, like, actually, like, chimed in, so this is awesome. Um, thank you, guys. We'll be right back, guys. All right, y'all, what's up? So I have my Grandma Glow online right here. You guys can see her. Hold on. Say hey to the people, Grandma. Hey, I do. <laughs> Okay, Grandma, so we got this question going on. So, what do you, what is your favorite to use? A fork or tongs? Fork. All right, fork. Th hey, I mean, hey, it looks like it's a tie right now. Hey, people! <laughs> what do you prefer, a tongue or a fork? Tongs. Tongue. It looks like tongue is the winner, guys. Tongue is the winner. You are here first. They not you southerners. So they not southerners. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm gonna call you later. I'm gonna call you later. I'm gonna call you back. Alright. Okay, okay. <laughs>so the flour would like so the flour so when you add the flour it'll like calm down the boil or something no it won't calm down the boil it's just gonna get your gravy thicker oh, okay to so, get the gravy thicker oh, okay okay yes and then um if if it's not so i said if it's not thick enough add flour if it's too thick for you if you put too much flour in it add water and let it come back to that boil and get to a thickness again but for me this is perfect a great color. This is onion gravy, homemade onion gravy. This is not that artificial, artificial <laughs> brown gravy. Though I love the artificial brown gravy, I really do. It's quick, it's amazing, and I love it. But this is, I like to do it from time to time, and it's good to know how to do this in case, like, you don't have that. Right, and you have to, like, improvise. This comes them. from way way back in the day my great great grandmom and aunts used to make this at home when they didn't have that brown gravy uh mix that they sell for us today so if you don't know how to do it this is how you do it and i'm glad to have you guys here with us tonight and to show you all some of my skills that i've picked up for my aunts and my mom What's up, everybody? We are back. The food looks absolutely amazing. Seriously, I mean, oh my God. Look at the cube steak. It looks amazing. Everything looks amazing. Let's dig in, right? Yep, let's eat. All right, let's, let's, let's see. The gravy's like thick, too. Mm. Wow. And it's seasoned like just right. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all add your flavor into your gravy or your flour that you use for your thickener. This is so good. As y'all can see, we didn't show the sides, but we have yeah. some mashed potatoes and some right. sweet peas, but it's pretty simple. We just want to show y'all the harder part of the meal. Alright guys, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell notification so you can notify every time I upload a brand new video. Anyway, I got to get to eat, so bye, y'all. Yeah.